Tonight here on Local 4, we enjoyed the rivalry revisited, a replay of two of the most exciting football games between Michigan State and Michigan. You know what, but the rivalry wasn't confined to the football field. During the games, we asked fans to donate to our Food for Frontline campaign, sending meals to hospital workers. And here are the results. Wolverines fans donated $4,000. The Spartans $4,500. So the Spartans win, but it's really our frontline heroes who come out on top here with more than $8,500 raised altogether. In today's newscast, we've been catching up with some of the stars of those games. Yeah, at six, Jamie Edmonds talked with Spartan Darian Harris about that blocked punt game in 2015. Now she goes to the other side of the story, talks to one of the stars of the 2004 Michigan comeback, Braylon Edwards. Jamie? Braylon Edwards had 11 receptions for 189 yards and three touchdowns on October 30th, 2004. It's a day he says he will never forget. Braylon Edwards has his third touchdown grab of the game. You look at the defense, you know, it's where they gave up some big runs, but when we needed them, you know, the big, the big hit by Lamar Woodley on Drew Stanton, which is definitely a legal hit. You look at the stop in overtime, in the first overtime, when they had a chance to, to seal the deal. You know, you look at when we needed the ball in the fourth quarter, they got it to us. Cobb down the sideline, to the 10, to the 5, DeAndre Cobb, touchdown, 64 yards. The Wolverines were down 17 points in the fourth quarter. I asked Edwards what they talked about on the sidelines. He says he told the coaches he wanted the ball, and Coach Lloyd Carr wanted him to have it. That's all Lloyd was saying. Just throw the ball up, just throw it up, just put it in his area. And, you know, they were trying to come up with plays, and Scott, I remember Scott left for trying to design, and Lloyd wasn't having it. Just throw the damn ball to Edwards. And young Chad Henney did just that. First, it was a 37-yard touchdown to number one. And he's got it for a touchdown! Then he threw a 22-yard TD that tied the game. Then, of course, this game winner in triple overtime. Here's Henny back to throw. And he look, and he's firing on a post cut. Edwards has it. 10, 5, touchdown. They finally ran zone coverage. So they played cover two at the line. They played a safety over top. The problem is now we ran the inside dig route. So the middle of the field was wide open. And that's why you see me kind of just float into the end zone without being touched. Edwards says this game was a full team effort from Henny to Mike Hart to the defense. He calls it one of the biggest wins in Michigan history. And in this program, there's been a lot of them. Do you have any memento or anything from that game at your house or anywhere? I do. My, my dad's house, uh, I have my cleats that I wore in that game. And I have my name plate from uh, the locker room where I'm, where I'm actually sitting right now. <laughs> These days, the former NFLer is quarantining with family locally, working out and reading a lot. His passion, raising money for happiness to others. I work in the space of mental illness, mental health and addiction awareness. And inadvertently, I go to a lot of addiction centers. And those methadone clinics, people are still working the front lines. They're still first responders and they need PPE as well. So I teamed up with uh, a group, Happiness to Others, and what we're doing is we're raising money for PPE for the Michigan recovery community. Happiness to Others is matching all donations Edwards receives, and then the NFL is going to match the total amount. So a lot of money could go to a great cause. I'll put all the information on clickondetroit.com. Steve, Sandra, back to you. What a good guy. Doing a good thing.